I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying the song Four Five Seconds by Rihanna, Kanye West and Paul McCartney. The song was released in January this year. The song starts out with Rihanna singing this. I think I've had enough. I might get a little drunk. Have had enough of somebody or something is an idiom. This is the concise Oxford's definition. Used when something somebody is annoying you and you no longer want to do, have or see it or them. And the example they give here is, I've had enough of driving the kids around. In the song, Rihanna doesn't say specifically what she's had enough of, so that's up to the interpretation of the listener. Maybe she's tired of dealing with the situation at work or... Maybe she's fed up with issues she's having in a relationship. The chorus of the song starts like this. Now I'm four or five seconds from wilding and we got three more days till Friday. I'd never heard of the word wilding before I heard the song, but it's pretty easy to guess what it means from the context of the song. And there's an entry in Urban Dictionary from 2003, so it's not a word they made up for the song. The Urban Dictionary definition is to go crazy, to do something extreme. So Rihanna's saying that she's had enough of dealing with something and she's about to go crazy and it's only Tuesday so she has to wait three more days until it's Friday night and she can party. Kanye is also close to going crazy and one of his lines is hold me back, I'm about to spaz. Spaz is a slang verb which means to go crazy or to have a fit. It can also be used as a noun to mean a stupid or incompetent person. This word reminds me a bit of my childhood because I don't think I've really heard it since then. But I think it was a pretty common insult to say to someone when I was a child like you're such a spaz meaning you're so stupid. So the word spaz sounds a bit childish and old-fashioned to me and I looked it up and I was interested to see that the word has different meanings and quite different levels of offensiveness in the US and the UK. It seems like in the US it's not really an offensive word it's kind of like nerd or geek but in the UK it's quite offensive. An example I found in Wikipedia was a comment made by Tiger Woods in 2006. After he lost a game, he said, I was so in control from tea to green, the best I've played for years, but as soon as I got on the green, I was a spaz. Apparently this comment was fine in the US, but in the UK people were upset about it and Tiger Woods ended up apologising. Kia ora, in stick news today, a man was arrested for assaulting his wife with a waffle. On Monday night, a woman in Massachusetts in the United States made waffles for dinner for her husband. Her husband wasn't happy with the meal and the couple began fighting. The husband said that waffles and syrup are unhealthy. He was so angry, he slapped his wife across the face with a waffle. The man was arrested on charges of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, the waffle. And that was Stick News for Friday the 24th of April. Kia ora. Today's word is optimist. In today's song, Kanye sings, Woke up an optimist. Sun was shining. I'm positive. An optimist is a person who always expects good things to happen or for things to be successful. The opposite of an optimist is a pessimist. See this glass of water? Do you think it's half full or half empty? People say that if you think it's half full, you're an optimist, and if you think it's half empty, you're a pessimist. Tina went to a job interview and the interviewer asked her, what is your greatest strength? Tina replied, I'm reliable. Next, the interviewer asked her, 
And what would you say is your greatest weakness? Tina thought for a moment and then answered, Honesty. The interviewer said, I don't think honesty is a weakness. And Tina replied, I don't give a fuck what you think. Is spaz short for something? What does spastic mean? Like retard? Yeah, it's short for spastic. Well, it is a medical term, something to do with when you can't control your muscles, and informally it's an offensive word for a disabled person. Yeah, although retard is someone who's mentally handicapped, and spastic is someone who's physically disabled but I don't recommend you using either of those words. If someone says, I've had enough of driving the kids around, they want to A, drive them around some more, B, stop driving them around. Stop driving them around. How long is Rihanna from Wilden? A, two or three seconds, B, four or five seconds, four or five seconds. The word spaz is considered more offensive in A, the UK, B, the US. The UK. Why was the man angry when his wife made waffles for dinner? A, she didn't make enough, B, waffles are unhealthy. Waffles are unhealthy. If you're an optimist, the glass is A, half empty, B, half full. Half full. And that was The Daily English Show. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to the people who have been helping spread the word about The Daily English Show by retweeting, commenting, plus oneing, Maybe a few more verbs that I can't think of right now. I hope you enjoyed today's show and I hope you're having an excellent day. See you tomorrow. Bye.